Welcome to my full look at Pokemon 2BA Master. Or, I've been wanting to address this anime for ages, so let's start with the road most traveled. One aspect present throughout this event series is the use of the Ashes U version, the Pokemon theme. How it shows highlights of the last quarter century by archive footage and photographs. Pretty bookend, as is this anime itself. We open on Ash and Pikachu have returned home after the events of Journeys. The two goof with each other, and I honestly enjoy how this episode remixes ideas when I chose you. Won't be the last time the parallel comes up either. However, I do admit the keep away with a hat is silly as a bunch of magic harp nibbling on the champ's hindquarters. I do like little details such as using a branch as a dousing rod to see which path to take and a fork in the road. And when Professor O comes to visit, how Miami's expression as he's sweeping gives off Detective Pikachu movie vibes. Elsewhere, the two swing around the forest, even mixing with the freshly evolved bee drill. Ash and Pikachu relax under the shade of a tree, and as they watch the clouds and Pokemon roll by, a familiar mouth drops in a visit. As Meowth and Team Rocket try to make off with their prize, Ash sends out his Sceptile, Noifern, and Dawnfan to reclaim Pikachu. They're sent blasting off, and it won't be the last time I address this rotation either. Also gives me plenty of ideas for fantasy rosters in the games. We are then introduced to the catalyst for this miniseries, Latias. She ends up making a crash landing, and Ash makes a bond with her as he tends her wounds. Nearby, just seeing James look on, I still like the sass the Herotong digital assistant has. Likewise, I do find amusement in the anecdotes surrounding this miniseries, and I'll address them more as continue my look at it. The use of Latias in particular is interesting, I like how it alludes to fifth movie later on. As they rest, it turns out that Weasel is also part of Ash's rotation in this episode. Team Rocket tries to abscond with Ash and Latias, freezing them. They believe the best of his Pokemon won't attack when they have a captive, like a great many things, they're wrong. The capsule shatters, and a freed Latias takes flight with Ash on her back. Noivern sends a balloon blasting off, and as Latias keeps watch for Ash and Pikachu, one last ride has begun. The road most traveled makes a great start to this mini-series. Anyways, and a fun episode on merits. I admittedly do not know the long-term future of the anime after this, though I do know I will enjoy this event for a long time, including covering it in its entirety this month. Next up, a fated face-off to be continued.